What's up you guys, Zach here with Dr. Eyeball MD. So if you've ever wondered how a surgeon practices their surgery because they obviously have to do a first surgery and you don't want that first surgery to be on a human uh, if you haven't practiced at all. So if you're wondering how you practice, I'm gonna show you today. So tucked away here in a small little room, this uh, almost closet size, dorm size room, uh, we actually have uh, a simulator, a surgical simulator. This is called the IC uh, right here. And it's actually, uh, you know, a robotic eye that's hooked up to software that helps helps us kind of uh, see the display here of what we're doing and practice surgeries. You can practice cataract surgery. We can practice uh, retinal surgeries, all kinds of stuff. Um, and then we look through the scope right here and we, uh, we practice. Um, it's obviously not as uh, just like the real thing, but parts of it are pretty similar. So we're going to practice this today and try to finish the module, at least get through a good part of it um, because we have to start surgeries next month, real cataract surgery on uh, real patient size. So we're going to practice some today. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and turn on the system. Hopefully this all works. So I just drove about 40 minutes to get here. It's, uh, the system's um, at one of the sites we have and it's a little bit of a drive to get to. So if we're not rotating at this site, you have to come out here in your spare time to finish this module. And this is called the IC. IC, uh, it's kind of a cute name, I don't know if you can see that, but Anyways, it uh, stands for eye simulator, but also kind of a pun on I can see. So, while it boots up here, uh, we'll go ahead and get the instruments out. So, they're delicate instruments. And so we have these, uh, which are like the tools that you use in surgery, sort of. They're at least supposed to mimic it. And these plug into the module and then interface with the software so it knows what tool and instrument we have in the eye and exactly what we're doing. So we'll go ahead and plug these into the system. Now there's two boxes of these. One's, more, one's for retinal surgery, one's for cataract surgery. We're doing the one for cataract surgery today. So we pull up the module here. We go to courses, it's under my name. Um, so I already completed the introductory courses and then we go to the category B for beginner and I've already done part of it, uh, and we're on the capsule rexus part. I've already done the capsule rexus uh, initial flap, and so now we're on anti-tremor training, which I haven't finished, that's where I left off. So we select task, it tells us what to do, and then it'll mimic the eye on the screen, and then we'll get the instruments in the eye and actually practice. So first thing we have to do is actually get the view in focus, so we use these pedals down here. Um, this is the focusing pedal. It's similar to what we use in surgery. So I'll go ahead and get it in focus and I'll see if I can show you uh, what the view actually looks like. So our goal here is going to be to take that little flashing green and blue ball and to move it around the circle. Um, as coordinated as possible because if it's not on that line then we have to start over and it doesn't count it for us. So I'll try to show you through the scope while we do this. So we go in with oops, change that to the cannula and then we go in And we fill it up. You can see it draining on the top right there. That's our viscoelastic. And then we simulate with this instrument being the forceps. It's a little difficult to do looking at the camera and not actually looking through the scope, but essentially you can see it simulates making that capsular axis. We try to grab it. 
and actually. Anyways, so I'm holding the camera with one hand and trying to do this looking at the camera and not through the scope, but you kind of get the idea. So we'd make the capsular rexus. And uh, so this is kind of how you train these. So that little forceps that was in there, that's what it looks like. And it just simulates once we put this into the eye, it looks like that. grab and make your rexus and then gives us a little circle to follow so I'm destroying the cornea but it's just because I'm just doing this for demonstration I'm gonna have to start this one over obviously there we go perfect score on that capsular rexus okay so it's been about four hours three and a half four hours and I have now completed about half of this cataract surgery module. I'd already done about probably 30% of it. Now I've hit about the 50% mark. So I'll come back at a later date because I want to go home. It's already seven o'clock and do the next couple modules before I start cataract surgery. All right, guys. Uh, so that's, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, to learn surgery before you do it on a human, you come into a small closet and practice on a headless um, mannequin here. That's it. I'm Zach with Dr. Eyeball MD. I'll see you guys next time.